Encore Revival, America, April 9, 2018. America is unquestionably in a culture war. The two black ladies, Diamond and Silk, are unsafe to the community, according to Facebook. That might have been the last straw. Many people in America love those two women and will take Facebook's opinion personally. It does have logical implications. If you like someone who is unsafe to the community, then it stands to reason that you too are unsafe. After all, if you want to see Diamond and Silk videos in your feed, then Facebook disagrees with you. But that's not where it stopped. Tony Robbins, a pioneer in his field of encouraging people with self-motivation, has helped many people make better lives for themselves. He commented that using a hashtag on Twitter to feel good merely uses a drug called significance. People who clean up their lives have already come to teach themselves that being famous and harming someone else offer no improvement for quality of life. And, indeed, the women's rights movement is no exception, just like Christianity, in having been abused by people who just want to feel good by way of fame. Tony Robbins did not disrespect the Me Too movement, but only called out the human habit of using good things for an alternative purpose. Then, a woman in the audience proved his point for him by contorting his defense of personal responsibility into something it was not. False alarms diminish the value of the alarm. America needs an uprising of people who will not stay quiet in the face of abuse. Tony Robbins identified a new niche form of abuse as a warning against crying victim in excess. Alienating Tony will not hurt Tony. It will hurt the groupies who commandeered the genuine real call to end degradation of women. With a march on the way to the border and the military being called into question. America faces turbulence, but these things will not overcome the nation. They will purge the problems and make the nation stronger. Encore. Revival is returning to America.